Install your 225 with the single frame and the transom with the side light. You always want to start with your starter can. If you're doing two inch trim, it's going to be the 199. If you're doing an inch and a half, it's going to be our 07 member. You're going to run your starter can from one end to the other end. On where it's needed, you just got to look up with your architect or your designers. Start from the top and then you want to add your verticals from the bottom of the lift to the top of finished floor on both sides. Once you have both of these set on there, whichever side the door is going to be, you want to mark it from the, the nib to the legs, go 37 and a half if you're opening it's 36 because you need three quarter bites that way and three quarter bites this way. Then from there, you mark it and add your starter pin on the bottom. Adding two two anchors on this on each side and then just stagger them in the middle. How to build your transom for your single frame and side light. So when building your transom, you're going to have your four parts for your header. These are going to come in at extra length just in case they want to keep the accuracy of your door. Now to get this measurement so you don't go back and forth trying to figure out what it is, you want to put your jam on, make sure it's flush and square. Then you want to go from the nib of your starter can to the top of your jam, getting that measurement. From there, you're going to minus an inch and a sixteenth. That's going to get you from up here to up here. So whatever this is, the length of it, if it's extra length, just remember that's ten and an eighth. You need an inch and a sixteenth. This is going to be nine and a sixteenth long and you're going to match it with the opposite side. Do remember when you go to cut, do not cut the two bottom holes. You want to just do the top side. Then when you got to cut to size, we'll show you how to screw it together. By starting at the top, you might have the hex edge, but we also have the square bit ones that are new to us. You want to start at the top by just screwing it just a hair, grabbing it. I wouldn't go all the way down. You want to kind of give them equally spaced in there because then it'll be hard for you to do that. And just do the same thing on the back side of your two holes. Once you have them, you can turn it down on them. Just make sure you don't have any gaps right here and you'll be good to go. Then you repeat the same thing on the bottom. On the bottom, looking at it, if this is going to be offset, that's the reason for the four holes because it allows you to put your glass stop on either side. If you want it on the front side or you want it on the inside of the office when they're going to put your glass. But you do the same thing. You, this time I'll go from the small, the bottom hole. Get this up. Like I said, just get a little bit in there. Don't tighten it too down. And then the next one's going to be at top. Then lock it down. One lock down. This is how you build your transom header. And we're ready to install it on top after we remove that jam. Now that we have our transom screw race together with all our screw races and we're ready to put it up, you want to go ahead and locate your header, which is your RN60 member. And it should be measured out at 37 and a 16, which is going to line up to the edges of these two nibs when you're putting it in. It's a pretty fabric. Make sure it lines up right where you need it on both ends. Get you a set screw just to set it in there. Now that we're here on that one, we're going to grab our transom, go to our opening, whichever door side, we're going to throw it. Slide it over, 
load it, then we'll tack it again. Once it's set in place, go ahead and put your screw to hold it in place. Then grab your another screw, put it in place. So now that you're at this stage, you can grab your jam materials that you had over here to get your measurements. Going out of 45 with your notches. Lock it in there. Kick it over. Treat your laser, make sure everything is square, straight. Tack it on there. And on to the next step. Now that we're at this stage right here, the next part, you're gonna add your, your top header, which is your RN52, 152 to be exact. The way we got the measurement for this is from this edge, you want to go 5 eighths over to give you space for your T-clip that you're going to have here. So from 5 eighths to the edge of your starter cam, we'll give you this measurement. Then you grab your 52, go in that angle, slide it up, lock it into place. Then we'll set a screw in there to hold it up. After you set your header on top, we'll go back and add our tips later on. But then we'll get the same part, which is your RN52. The same one as the top, goes on your vertical. The way we got this measurement is going from the bottom, from the face up here, of the header, to the top of your seal member. Not the bottom, but the top. And we'll get your measurements for everything. Then you get this, you set it in there at an angle, slide it over. Make sure it's square level and plumb, tack it in, and on to the next one. Now we're going to install our other strike jam. We have one already on there, we're going to go right here. They were the same measurement, remember we set everything up because we're level on top. Go ahead and use your notch side, stick it in this side. Then you get your lined up. And before you just push it all the way in, on the 37 and a half we'll leave you a little gap. So, I did mark my 36 from the face over here, the face over here. Then you'll, you'll pull it back to where you need it. Put a screw to set it in place. Do the same thing on the other side. Then we're on to the next step. So now, you are loose up here, which is okay. Now we're gonna use our insert. Our insert is our RN, 154. If you're using two inch trim, it's going to be called a 53. But for now, it's 54. The way to get this measurement right here, same thing as the on that side, bottom of the header to the top of the seal. Get the measurement. Then we get it. Are we going at 45 coming up? Set it in place. Put the screws together and line it back up up here. Then you want to get. You want to go ahead and pack this up. Make sure that you don't have any gaps up here on the top corner. And then just sit it flat. Go ahead and set it in place. And do the same thing on top so it doesn't come loose. Go 8 to 12 inches, finish it off your screw. Now you want to go ahead and put in your base, which is your RN50. RN50 has a snap for your glass. Depending on which way you want to put it, is how you set it. I always like doing it on the outside to help out the lasers. You're going to measure from the face of your 52 to the face of your 54 and get the measurements. Like everything else, I always go in the 45 coming down, lock it in. Make sure everything is tight on each side. If you need to pull that side this way to close any gaps, go ahead and do so and then tack it down. Now as far as the rest of the video, to add your verticals and your other horizontals that you may have, you can look up our other videos, how to install verticals and horizontals. And this is your 225 with the transom in the skylight. As far as your clips go, because we raced a screw race up here, you don't need it, but we do ask that you put a T-clip right here for extra support and anything else with your other clips. You can look at our other videos to show how to install clips and how to install our casing slash trim and how to notch for it.